Hey guys and welcome to a brand new Minecraft PSP update video and in this video we're going to be taking a look at some of the new changes made to the PSP Craft server. But before we go ahead and do so I'd really appreciate it if you guys could hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified of whenever I upload. Without further ado let's go ahead and get right into the video. So of course we have our PSP over here with the latest version of Craft Server installed. All we're gonna do is start up the Craft Server here. I'm gonna go switch over to my uh, instance over here of Minecraft Java Edition. And we're gonna start it on the hotspot. So the first part of this is gonna be on the PSP itself to show off that we have the full item uh, system like implemented. And then we're gonna to switch to the Windows server to show live tests of said item system. So on the server, it's set to give me diamond blocks when I entered the server. So let's go ahead and refresh the connection here. So what I did was I basically imported a JSON file directly from, uh, basically you can generate it using a Mojang server. Uh, it's a data generator and it's a pretty standard feature that they have included. Uh, and then basically I did a bunch of formatting to get it into C++. And then basically it's like five kilobytes of RAM or even less probably. Uh, and it's really efficient. So we're gonna jo join the server here. And I should be given a bunch of diamond blocks in my inventory. Now this is actually dynamically loaded, so if it gets changed uh, on the server side, it's actually going to go ahead and uh, do different things. But as you guys can see, I have an inventory with uh, the first hot bar, which is what I set it to be, uh, full of diamond blocks. And it's pretty much uh, the entire item system is added. So no matter what item ID I specify, Minecraft, colon, whatever item I want to give myself, it gives me stacks of that in my inventory. It doesn't have to be blocks, it can also be normal items like as I have uh, prepared here, some apples. So if I disconnect from the uh, PSP server, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start the Windows server, which is pretty much just identical. Uh, I've got some debug B uh, uh, right there, but aside from that, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna refresh, and now you're gonna see Craft Server here on uh, Windows pops up. I'm not gonna have to change anything. We're gonna connect, uh, and we get a bunch of apples here. Uh, so these apples are pretty much based on that JSON file. So if I actually go ahead and disconnect here, change this JSON file to use, uh, let's say, what's a random Minecraft uh, block? Let's use uh, the most random thing I can think of. Uh, acacia underscore log, I think. Hopefully I spelled this right, acacia log. I think it's acacia log, right? That's how you say it, right? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not, yep. And it spawns us with a bunch of acacia logs, which can be placed, of course. And that's pretty much uh, the entire item system. I can go back and I can change this to any arbitrary item that I decide. Uh, let's try um, stone brick, which I don't remember if it's actually just like, is it stone bricks? Is it stone brick? Is it plural? Is it with an underscore? I'm not sure. Uh, it's definitely not stone brick by itself. Uh, stone bricks with an S, maybe. Um, I forget some of these Minecraft namespace ID IDs anyways. Uh, it's not that either. <laughs> uh, cool, I don't remember what it is. Maybe it is stone underscore brick. Or stone underscore bricks. There's so many different combinations that I could try here. That's actually really hard to tell. Um, mainly because I don't memorize all the Minecraft namespace IDs. Maybe it's stone bricks. Yes, here we go, it's stone bricks. And now we have stone bricks in our inventory in order to go ahead and build things uh, on the server as we want. Either way, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later in another video. Actually, you know what? I'll be streaming after this anyways uh, for some more Stardust uh, cross-platforming. 